Best friends, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you had a great weekend. I'm just in the car right now driving to an antique store. I'm just coming from an antique store and now I'm driving to another one. But happy Monday. It's it's a good day. It's a good day. We've got some plans later this evening to carve some pumpkins, which I'm really excited about. And I'm going antiquing right now. So what could be better than that? So I'm doing good. I hope you guys are doing good too. I had a really busy work night last night and it was good because you know how when I like I film in the car a lot when I'm doing my ASMR videos just because it's like a change of pace you're switching things up it's like new scenery you know it's not just like filming in the same spot every single time and I love love my office I love my office but I also love switching it up and going to a different location and um yeah, just having a change of scenery. Change of scenery is always good. So I was like, okay, I really need to switch it up because I was really sick of for my giantess Patreon, which if you don't know what that is, it's a Patreon that I have. I've had it since 2020, January of 2020. And I guess technically December of 2019, but like my first official month of doing it was January of 2020. And it is my largest source of income throughout the year. And it's just, it's a thing that I do. So I last year or last month was pretty sick of doing my giant test videos all in the same spot in my office. Cause like there's only so much you can do in that spot. So this month I was like, I want to switch it up. And so I did get a hotel last night to film content and I filmed a bunch of stuff. I filmed for my main channel. I filmed for, did I film for my Patreon? I don't think I did. I just filmed for my main ASMR channel and my giant test Patreon. And those are the two platforms that I made content for. And I'm really proud of what I made and my giant test role plays were longer. They were more in depth and interesting, I feel like. And so I think that my patrons will really appreciate that. Even though they're coming at the end of the month, which sucks, I never wanna do that intentionally, but it just happens sometimes. It is what it is. And I got to use my camera, which is cool. Like I love doing that. So yeah, it just made me, I, I feel good about the content that I made last night, so. Yeah, but I did do that and it's funny, I brought like all my filming stuff and then I brought like self-care stuff too. I brought like a face mask, a foot mask, a lip mask. I brought like all this stuff, a body scrub, thinking that I would do some self-care. No, honey, no, no. I was up until three in the morning filming and then I went to bed with my full face of makeup on. So. No self-care happened last night, but that's okay. I am still happy that I did it. It's always nice to get away and people like to give me like shit for that in my real life. And they're always like, but why? Like people don't do that. I do, I'm people. And if you wanted to, you would too. You know what I mean? But like, I guess not everybody wants to just I don't know, for me, it's like if I made like short films and I rented out a film set, people wouldn't be like, that's weird. You know, like they just wouldn't. And that's what I do when I go film in different locations, whether it's an Airbnb or a hotel, I'm buying a set for the night or for the weekend or whatever it is, that's what I'm doing. And if people think that it's weird, that's on them. Like, I just don't get it. I, I just think that it, anytime somebody does something even slightly out of the norm, people just come for them. And they just immediately like assume the worst, think that, you know, I, I don't know. Like, it's just, it's bizarre to me. It's like, it's, it's just bizarre. But anyway, so I had a good night productive night. I have to edit those videos together and get them uploaded as soon as possible. And 
yeah, I brought out some tingly trigger items and stuff for a main channel video that I'm really excited about. It's not a ramble, it's a positive affirmations with tingly triggers video and like personal attention. And I think people are really gonna like it. I really do. I'm hopeful anyway. So I did that last night as well. And then I did a ramble and then I did four giant test videos as well. So yeah, all good things. But how are you doing? How was your weekend? Did you celebrate? Did you? I did not get a single comment saying, yeah, I went out to a party. I'm getting dressed up. I'm doing that. Like, I didn't get a single one. So you guys must be boring like me. <laughs> you didn't do a single thing to celebrate this weekend, which is fine. You know, we can be old and boring. That's okay. I was just expecting somebody at least to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to the club. But no, no, no club goers. That's funny. I saw this bracelet, you guys. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. One of the most beautiful bracelets I've ever seen. If I edited, I would pop up a picture right here. I don't think I'm going to because I don't do that if I can help it, especially on this channel. If I can just post it all in one go, I will. But I found this beautiful bracelet at the antique store. It was $18, which I don't have. And so, oh, a beautiful bald eagle, two bald eagles flying over me. Oh my gosh, you never see two at the same time. Wow, that's crazy. I wonder if they're together. I wonder if they're besties. But anyway, so I found this beautiful bracelet and it was $18 and I was like, oh, that's tight. I don't know, let me Google it. And Google has that feature where you can Google a picture and it'll show you where it's popped up on the internet before. And so I, I Googled a picture of like the charms on this bracelet and it came back to me immediately. First option was that bracelet on eBay. And I was like, this future thing, like living in the future is crazy because the fact that it can just be so easily, like out of all of the billions of bracelets in the world, billions of them, I looked up a picture of this one random one that I found in a vintage antique place and it came up. Like that's mind blowing, in seconds, crazy. So anyway, and the bracelet on the internet was $31 plus $4 shipping for eBay. And I don't have the $18 today willy nilly to just throw at the bracelet, but I did save the link and I sent it to CJ and I was like, in case you wanna pay uh, $35 for this $18 item at Christmas time, hey, you can buy me this bracelet because it's so pretty. It was like this vintage gold charm bracelet and oh my gosh it was just it was beautiful it was literally beautiful i would show you a picture but i took it on my phone and you guys are on my phone so i can't do that but oh man it was so pretty it had some gold like knot charms that were just gold but then it had three one big one and two smaller ones that were gold like pendants with gemstones in the middle one of them was blue one of them was green and one of them was red like super jewel tone true jewel colors that were just so gorgeous oh so gorgeous and it fit me so perfectly oh my god it was so good I almost want to the more that I'm talking about it the more I'm like I should go back I should go back I should get it it's just so pretty, but I don't need everything that I like, you know? I don't have a bracelet like that. I've always wanted a bracelet like that, but I don't need a bracelet like that, you know? I'm not gonna go back just because <sighs> I'm thinking about it. Honestly though, I left that parking lot in a hurry because 
I was parked like in the back of the building and it's in downtown Rochester. So it's not like the safest place. It is a downtown area. So, you know, no place like that is safe. But yeah, when I got out to my car, I was just sitting in my car, minding my business. And I hear somebody bang on a car, like hit it. And I turn and I'm like, what the fuck? And I don't know if these individuals were fighting. I don't know if they're friends. I honestly don't care because anybody who's willing to punch somebody's car, and they did it multiple times, um, is not somebody that I think is a safe person to be around. So that freaked me out. And then there was somebody who was clearly on some kind of drugs bouncing a basketball behind me and like the people who were like hitting the cars were like going in and out of the car there was a driver and then like one guy who hit the car was like walking around and then the other guy who was with him or not with him I couldn't tell kept getting in and out of the car in the passenger seat and they were like yelling at each other but I couldn't tell if they were like friends or not so I was just like <laughs> get out of there fast and my car was like when I back up my car goes beep 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 like it, it's really loud the whole neighborhood can hear it when I do when I back up out of my driveway and so I was like trying to make a quick e escape and my car's like beep 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 and I'm trying not to hit the guy who's bouncing basketballs behind me and so I'm just like I, I had to when I'm in reverse my car does that even if I'm not like actively backing up and so I had to wait for the basketball guy to pass. So I literally was backing up and it was like beep, beep, beep. And then I had to stop and wait and it was still just going beep, beep, beep. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna get killed. I'm gonna get killed today. So yeah, that was funny. I'm trying not to cough, but yeah, I'm just on my way to another antique store just for funsies. I like to walk around. I like to look at all the things and feel inspired. There were a couple things at this last place that I almost got Lori Latte for Christmas. Almost. I was so close, but I didn't because they weren't perfect. I saw them and I thought of her and I was like, oh my gosh, she would like these, but I wasn't like, oh my gosh, she would love that. So I was like, I'm going to hold off. I'm going to wait. I also decided I know what I'm going to get my dad for Christmas. I just need to find it so my dad has this like awesome bar in their new house and he has these like vintage light up neon like whatever signs bar signs on the walls and so the thing is he like he was like if you find any that work that are vintage like let me know and I would really like to have them put them on the walls. He's got lots of wall space, so he's got plenty of room for all these signs. And so I've been on the lookout for vintage bar signs, but I haven't found any that really speak to me that I'm like, oh my gosh, he needs this. And so I haven't gotten them for him, but today I found it, it was huge and it didn't light up, so it wasn't, the sign, not that the sign that I'm gonna look for needs to light up, but it was just like really big and not very cool looking. So I didn't get this particular one, but it gave me the idea. I know what I'm gonna get him for Christmas. I'm going to get him a vintage pizza place sign. Like instead, cause he's famous for his pizzas, okay? And I don't know if that's because he does anything different. I think he just throws them in the pizza oven and calls it a day. He doesn't hand make them or anything, but everybody loves his pizza. And they think that his pizza is the bomb. So they, they could also be extremely drunk and it's four in the morning every time he makes them a pizza. I don't rightly know. <laughs> but um, either way, people love the pizza. He's known for the pizza. He loves pizza. It's his like one true love in life besides my mom. So he, <laughs> I was like, that's what I'm going to get him is a vintage pizza place 
sign. So now I'm gonna be on the lookout for that and I highly doubt, because I don't think I've ever seen one before, that I will find one at an antique store. Highly doubt it. But I'm gonna be looking online, trying to find one. We'll see what I can find. It doesn't have to light up and it doesn't have to be vintage either. Like if I find a really cool sign on Etsy that's new and handmade, I'll get that. But I really wanna find one like a vintage pizza place, pizza pizzeria, like pizza parlor sign. I just think that would be so cool. And I think he would really like that. I think it would be a fantastic addition to his bar and his gaming area and stuff because it's not just another beer sign. He doesn't even drink beer, okay? He loves pizza, doesn't drink beer. So I was like, it would be, I just think it'd be perfect. So I am on the lookout for that. What else, what else? Tomorrow is Halloween, very exciting. Rosie has a little show that we're gonna go to in the morning at her school. It's just a little a little show that they're putting on. I think it's just gonna be like the older kids do four or two songs and the younger kids do two songs. So it's like a quick little 30, 45 minute thing. And then, and they get to wear costumes to school. So we're gonna do that. And then I think straight from there, we're going to see CJ's grandparents so they can see Rosie in her costume, but she's wearing a different costume for school than she is for Halloween, like trick or treating. And so I would have to bring all of her stuff to get her ready at somebody else's house. I just, I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work, but that's what CJ wants to do. So we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna have to be fully ready for trick or treating by 2 p.m. That's, I don't know. I don't think that's gonna work at all, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Cause we're doing, honestly, I don't even know what costume she's gonna wear because she wants to do ballerina for school. She wants to be a ballerina. And I want her to wear the costume that I wore when I was her age to my preschool party. And she doesn't want to wear that to school, but she does want to wear it. She's like, I just want to be a ballerina at school. So she's going to be a ballerina at school, but then for trick or treating, we're going to be together and she's going to be Lizzie McGuire and I'm going to be Isabella Parigi. And that's like the whole plan. But now it's like, okay, what costume is she going to wear for trick or treating? What costume is she going to wear for school? I'm thinking about maybe just taking that costume that I wore when I was a kid and just dressing her up in it sometime this week, like on a random day this week and not having it be for Halloween exactly, but just being just so I can take the pictures of her in it and compare them to the pictures of me when I was a kid and all of that. I just, I want to take those pictures and have those memories, but it doesn't have to be on Halloween. So I don't know. And the thing about a ballerina, she dresses up as a ballerina all the time. Like we don't even have to get a costume. She'll just grab one out of her drawer. So it's not even fun. I wish she would be Lizzie McGuire at school, but oh well, we'll figure it out. It's all good. It's all good. I don't think I'm gonna be getting much sleep tonight though because I have to cut the wires off of the headsets uh, for the costumes. I have to, there's a lot that I have to do. I have to edit those videos that I took last night. I have to upload them. That was almost an accident. So it's gonna be a really busy night. I don't think I'm gonna get a whole lot of sleep. Can you believe I still haven't had any alcohol? <laughs> I even brought alcohol last night to the hotel because I was just like, I'm gonna be working all night. Like I might as well have some drinks. And then it was like 10.30 and I was like, crap, I still haven't had any drinks. I'm not gonna start now. So I still haven't, <laughs> it's just very bizarre. Um, not bizarre as in like bad or weird or anything, but it's just like, I intended to take like 
well initially it was going to be the 75 hard thing that's why i quit alcohol but then i was like 75 hard is bad and it's not good for my mental health so i was like well maybe i'll just take like a two week break and now here we are like 40 something days later still haven't had any bizarre but yeah anyway i hope that you guys are having an absolutely wonderful day and i hope that you have a great halloween tomorrow if you have oh my ear is ringing if you have little kids or kids in general and they're all dressed up i that's weird to say i'm not gonna say send me a picture on instagram but i just if you want to like i just love that i i'm excited to see all of your costumes your kids costumes whatever um i think that that's just adorable so you don't have to send me pictures of your kids like i don't want to sound like a weirdo but i just i i care about you guys and i care about your lives and i just want to know so i love you very much i hope you're having the best day and i will talk to you again very soon promise bye guys